<laughs> all right, all right. What's happening, y'all? My name is Chef Gayson from New Orleans, Louisiana. And guess what? I'm going to be cooking with you guys today. Taste the tennis, man. Before we even get started, I guess I got to get some more viewers in here. Do I, have do I have any? How many do I have so far? I have three. We need more than three. We need more than three. I got my fire apron. Check this apron out. I'm digging this apron. Nice, nice. It's fitting just right. Hit me just right. Look how it's hitting me. Ah, I like this. I think I'm gonna take this apron with me everywhere I go. Everywhere. I can see my logo. See my Chef in the Dish logo. Got my little name. It's gonna be all right. Let me know how. Oh, my camera person. She's not gonna let me show you her, but. How many people we got so far, Tyler? Seven. Seven? I'm not gonna start till we get at least about 300. We need about 300. Nah, I'm joking. We're gonna give about what? How many more minutes we should give it, Tyler? Two. Two? Yeah. All right, we'll give a couple more minutes. Let me uh check out my area. Get myself together. We're gonna make some Cajun shrimp tacos. Tacos, tacos. And please, people, invite your friends. Click share. Invite your friends. Let them know that we're on. So have some fun. I'm going to be spending a few minutes with you guys. Get to cook with you guys. Get to talk about myself, what I do. My love of tennis, what tennis does for me, what it means to me. Taste the tennis, all the great things that's going on. I know every, I know this is a difficult time, but everybody with the pandemic, the, 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 the protests and the, and the rallies and stuff like that, man. But just a minute to just... Sit back, unwind, and go, whoo, just for a minute. I mean, it's not gonna, we're, we're not going to be able to run away from what's going on in the world right now. But just for a minute, just a woosah, just for a little quick minute. So why not over some shrimp tacos? How many we got, Tyler? Ten. Ten is good. Ten is good. All right, I got my grease going. Check this out. We're making some Cajun shrimp tacos. First, my name is Chef Gayson. Like I said, I'm a private chef, personal chef from New Orleans. And, um... Cooking is what I do. Cooking is what I love to do. Cooking is, uh, that's my life, man. I've been cooking for like, what, 17 years now, I guess. I've been a private chef for many, many people, man. I've traveled all over, man. I've done some really cool things. Um, and cooking to me is uh, my purpose in life. It's just what I love to do. Every day I wake up and I don't even feel as if I have a job. I get up, I get up every day and I get to play. I literally get up every day and I get to play. I love that. You know what I mean? I don't. I would not call cooking a job. Right? I get to go in different people's houses and do some pretty cool things, give them an experience. And also, I'm gonna tell you also too about what I do with the chef and dish. That's a whole other avenue of what I do. So when Taste of Tennis contacted me and asked me to be a part of this, I was like, hell yeah, because that's a whole other story. Tennis, to me, before we get started, a little bit about tennis. Um, I mean, if you guys look at my Instagram, Chef underscore Gason, I had to throw that out there. But uh, Chef underscore Gason, that's me on Instagram, you might see me post a few things about tennis. For me, you know, different people have different reasons why they do different things. For tennis, man, is an escape. Tennis was introduced to me about 12, 13 years ago. I was going through a little difficult time in my life, you know. It was just life, you know. It was just my turn, and I was just going through some things. And a friend of mine here in New Orleans named uh, Charles Perkins, uh, call him Gap. He's a tennis coach out here, man. Stern City Park. And uh, he asked me to come out and play some tennis with him. I didn't know nothing about no tennis, man. I was like, man, I ain't playing tennis. Man, I'll tell you, I went out there. Matter of fact, hey, look, let me swim me. I keep my racket close. I keep my racket close. I went out there with Coach Perp. And man, it was, I was addicted. And man, t for me, tennis takes me to a whole nother place, man. Tennis is like it's a personal challenge, man. And people, you then you gotta you can't play with tennis. If you really want to learn how to play tennis, you gotta get out there and you gotta really put some work into it. Tennis is not the game where you go play. Kind of like kind of my tennis kind of reminds me of golf. You're not gonna go out there Monday, then go put your racket down and go out there three Mondays from now again and try to play and be a decent tennis player. If you want to get into this, you gotta get into it and really get into it and put your surround yourself around some awesome people, man. I got some people, man. We man, we play, I mean. <laughs> we play every day. I mean, hey, we found a, a, if we can find a light, if we can find a cold light on two in the morning, we'd be up there playing. That's real talk. You know what I'm saying? So tennis, to me, is just taking it to a whole other place. It's challenging. It's a personal challenge. I'm on two different teams. I travel all over. I play in different tournaments, stuff like that. 
Now, hey, now, I'm, first of all, I'm a, I'm a chef. I'm a chef. I'm not sitting here saying I'm a professional tennis player and all that. I'm an average four old tennis player. I just love the game so much. It's done so much to me. It put me in a place to where it was an escape through all the stuff that I was going when I was going through a little difficult time. It took me to a whole nother place, man. And uh, ever since then, I'm addicted, man. I'm going to play until I can no longer work this earth. So now, that's enough about me and tennis, but I got to keep my tennis record close because I might get a call and I got to go play. But check this out. I got on the camera, my, my daughter. So if you want to ask any questions, you want to ask me any questions, anything you want to know about food or tennis or whatever it is, I don't care, just ask me. Just because my daughter's going to read, read, read it off to me. Her name is Tyler Nelson. I post a few pictures of her from time to time. That is my love of my life. Say hello, Tyler. Tyler, say Hello. Say hey, people. Say hey. Say hello to Tyler. Let me know if anybody, if anybody want ask any questions and stuff like that. Yes. Yeah, someone said, "What's your favorite seafood dish to eat or cook?" My favorite seafood dish to eat or cook. Oh, <laughs> check it out. Uh, I love charred oysters, man. Charred oysters. Charred oysters is like woo. Fire, 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 fire. Thank you for that question. Charred anything oysters. I'm an oyster fanatic. I like gum. I love, love seafood gumbo, but I respect all food. But as far as like, it has to be oysters, man. I love oysters, man. Just something about oysters. I love oysters. Poor boys, I love oysters. Raw, I love oysters. Charred, I love, I love oysters. Rockefeller, oyster. Bienville, oyster. just oysters. Oysters on half shell, oysters on bun, oysters on <laughs> foot long, dressed, undressed, fried by itself, or chip, whatever. Whatever like that. It's all good. Like I said, anybody got any questions? Ask, ask, ask. But I guys want you, I guys want you to see something. We're gonna make some uh, shrimp tacos, real cool, simple, and easy. And I'm also, if you want the recipe, I'm gonna get a guy, I'm gonna give the taste tennis the recipe so they can post it. It's so simple. But I'm gonna tell you some cool things. Like, so anybody got any questions? Please ask. Check out this slaw. Simple, simple slaw. What? The thing about slaw. This is what this is what I want to tell you. Get the basic slaw. Cabbage, carrots. You know what I mean? Cabbage and carrots. But you could take the slaw. And check this out. You can add, um, take it to a whole nother level. Add some leeks, add some cilantro, add some kale, add some spinach, add some ridiculous. It doesn't matter. I mean, you can take it to wherever you want to go. Whatever it is that you like, just add it to it. You can add. I, I, I've even had a, um, a salad one time where it had uh, orange zest in it. I was like, orange zest, man. Come on, bro. People. People. Man, that, that slaw was fire. You heard me? That slaw was fly, fire. Do you like Creole? Do I like Creole? Yeah. I love Creole. I mean, I know I love all food. Creole, I mean, Creole here in New Orleans is, uh, you know, is, I think nowadays Creole and Cajuns come together, but, you know, Creole is more, it was more of a tomato base, more, they would say, upscale eating here in the city of New Orleans. It's like, like, like Cajun food, it's like backwoods, past Lafayette, Scott, Louisiana, back in the swamps where they eat off the land and stuff like that. So just food in general, I just love food all together. Who is your favorite tennis player, male and female? My favorite tennis player. Oh man, I, I respect so many different tennis players' games. You know what I mean? I mean, everybody else. I mean, nobody gonna say Serena. I just think Serena is so powerful, and she came and dominated the game. You know what I mean? She just came and dominated the game, and she's just so powerful. And I really hope that she gets that record. And after that, you know, she can go on and be a, you know, whatever it is she want to do her, you know. In life, but I would say Serena. And I'm not just saying that she's just so dominant. You know what I mean? And she's still going strong. She had a baby, came back, still at the height of her game. Uh, tennis, um, male. You know, of course, everybody gonna say Federer and Nadal. I just respect everybody that you know goes hard at the game. As far as male, I hope Rosanowski. I love his backhand. His backhand. I'm a one-handed backhand like him. His backhand. Well, Federer got the state-of-the-art backhand. That he got a textbook backhand. You know what I mean? It's backhanded, but I mean, it was a nasty backhand. I hope I'm saying it right. Is you know I mean, it's, it's pretty. I just love watching it. You know, I still didn't work on my backhand, but his backhand, his one hand, he brings it back. He, ah, he, ah, ah. If I get a backhand like that, I think I might be a four or five player, but whatever. Now, look, please ask questions now. Slow, slow, slow. Look, that, so we got the cabbage. I got kale, I got cilantro in here. You know what I'm saying? Red cabbage, red, white cabbage. We're gonna leave it like that. And how I'm gonna creolize it, we're gonna make the sauce. First of all, Tyler, thank you so much for helping me with this. I want she doesn't want nobody to see it because she just don't think she's all did up. I think my daughter's just beautiful no matter how she looks. She's just gorgeous. I love you, boo-boo. Love you too. Okay, thank you. Alright, look. 
Now for the slaw, for the slaw, so we're gonna, how we're gonna creolize it, real simple and easy, man. I got some meal, I got some creole mustard, I got some sugar, I got some crystal hot sauce, some salt and pepper. Check this out. Uh, let me get a little something, something good. Hold on, people, hold on, people. When you're grabbing a po' boy in New Orleans. Huh? When you're grabbing a po' boy in New Orleans, where are you eating? Ooh, man. That's a good question. Uh, hold on, man. I, mean, I don't want to leave it. I mean, I mean, there's so many great people. I mean, I feel like this New Orleans, I mean, that's so hard. When people, people all the time, when I, I do private dinners here in New Orleans, when people have, like, come here for, you know, they do, they go to get, have, like, rent Airbnbs and they have, like, private dinners, they'll bring in a chef. And, you know, they'll bring me in. I got a team myself, Chef Ray, uh, Katie, um, Tiffany. We go in there, man, and we give them an awesome, you know, New Orleans experience. I definitely recommend you go out and you try the city. So many people always ask me where to go eat to get that. I mean, New Orleans is so wide open. It's so hard to say this is the best place. That's the best place. I like Dini's in the corner, in the French quarters, and you know they they're they're barbecue shrimpers off the chain. I mean, you know they're poor boys. It's just it's just so many different places. Neos is a great place. I mean, the list goes on and on and on. I get. I tell you what, this is what you do. When you go to New Orleans, walk outside and go around the corner. That's the best place to get the. That's the best place. All right, look. I'm gonna show you the. Uh, I'm gonna knock this out for you. I got the man. Man, look, I could talk all day. I got the mail. Simple, simple. A little salt and pepper. I got my Creole seasoning here and some salt and pepper. But check, a little salt and pepper. Some crystal hot sauce. Then we hit this uh, the Creole mustard. Some sugar. And man, you just all the taste, man. It's up to you. I'm gonna send a recipe for the basics, man. But it's all about if you if you eat if you're making it, you want to play with it, play with it, go where you want with it. I mean, unless you're baking, ain't no you ain't no wrong or right way. Look, mix it up, check it out. I know everybody got tasting spoons. I got my little tasting spoons. A little, ooh, come on, come on, come on, come on. Hit me, hit me, hit me. It hit me, hit me. It hasn't hit me yet. A little more sugar. Boom. A little more crazy. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Mix that up. Get you up. Get you another tasting spoon. What is your favorite thing to do in New Orleans? Ha! Huh. Play tennis. <laughs> what rum should I use for the perfect hurricane? What rum? Yeah. Ooh, the perfect hurricane. Let me um, let me look that up. I guess a nice dark rum. I mean, uh, I don't want guess Myers rum. I guess I want to say. Let me look that up for you, man. I don't, I don't want to tell you wrong. Okay, look. I got my I got my um, base. I never forget you about that that hurricane. Hold on, let me knock this out. I got you, babe. Take that. I got that. I got that slow mixture with the the, the, the kale, cilantro, uh, cabbage. You got spinach. I mean, just take it to a whole nother level. Do what you want. Just take it to a level. Put a little base in it. Don't, just add half. Don't don't brown it too soon. They want to know where you were for Hurricane Katrina. Where I was? Yes. I was in New Orleans East. I was in New Orleans East, and uh, we evacuated to uh, Houston. Then we came back, but I stayed in New Orleans East. And it's so funny. I stay. I, I'm a chef, and I just, I just stay too far off of Chef Howard. You know what I mean? So... Cabbage, dress it, let it sit. Now, you don't want to drown it. Now, I got my tortilla shells. I got my uh, skillet on warm. So we're gonna just toast these off when it's time to uh, dress them up. Let's put a little heat on under them, like that. So now what we're gonna do now is make the, the, the fish fry. It's real simple and easy. Cornmeal. Flour, a little salt and pepper, a little lemon pepper, and some Old Bay seasoning, baby. Some Old Bay seasoning. Oh, guess I should open it, huh? Crystal hot sauce over Tabasco. 
I, the crystal hot sauce is a little, um, crystal hot sauce has a little sweeter. Tabasco has a little more punch. It just depends on if you want, um, depends on what you're looking for. Sweetness and a little more punch. Tabasco punch. Crystal a little more sweet. Now, but th I'm sitting here trying to figure out the, I don't want to tell you wrong. I mean, rum, I, you can do, um, shoot, hold on, let me mix this up. Uh, like Navy Yard rum, maybe for the hurricanes. Um, let me think of something else. Come on, I'm trying to think, 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 think. Mix that up. Medium sized shrimp, I mean small shrimp, okay? Add this little Cajun season to the top. Season everything, man, we season everything. Little Cajun season. Cool. Now, have that right there. Little egg wash. Little egg wash. Um, some milk. An egg. And once again, up oh, this. Once again, you mix that up like so. Once again, I'm gonna go to that. I'm gonna go to that crystals, babe. Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. Just a little salt and pepper. We seasoning everything, man. Seasoning everything. I got me some peanut oil. I got around 350. Be careful when you, you know, when you mess with grease and you know in your kitchen, you don't want to burn yourself. But um, take you some of that seasoned shrimp. Put in that little, don't worry about my hands. I'm me and my daughter eating it, so don't worry about it. Like that. I'm gonna come over here. I got my dry hand. I got my dry hand. Uh -huh. Put in that little mixture. And once you know, when you when you take it out the grease, you can uh after you try one, you can re-season it if you want. Like so. I even heard uh, one of my partners one time said when he was making that hurricane, he used like this Navy Yard rum. I never had it, but you know, try it out. So look, come to that grease. Okay, we're gonna wait a minute. Oh no, that's fine. Just turn up a little bit. I Start dropping your shrimp in. Thank you so much for helping me, Tyler. I think you're the most prettiest camera woman around. I love you. Love you too. Thank you. Do you like to entertain people in the tennis industry often? Um, oh, of course. I mean, yeah, I mean, I, I entertain anybody. I just love, I love, anytime I get to share the gift that I love of cooking, it's just, it's a blessing. So, yeah, I mean, I entertain anybody, but definitely in, in the tennis industry, man. Yes, indeed. You know, now definitely if I can give them an experience, take them, you know, take them on a little trip with the Creole food. Also, too, I want to tell you, check this out while this is frying. I guess it's going to take about six, maybe five, six minutes this way to start floating, golden brown. Check this out. Hold on. Something else that I do is I do, okay, you don't want to overcrowd it. You don't want to crowd it. You don't want to it. I'm with this amazing group, man. Well, yeah, baby. I'm with this amazing group called the Chef in the Dish. And what we do, man, is the chefs from all over the world. I represent, I represent the South. I represent New Orleans. We have chefs from Spain. We have chefs from Italy, uh, France, uh, Hungary, Thailand. We have, we have, man, we have uh, Vietnam, you know, we have chefs from all over. What we do, we Skype into your kitchen. So if anybody wants to cook with me, all you gotta do is go through the chef in the dish. You know, we'll set it all up, we we'll do some different things. Right now I've been making what people have been making on um, jambalaya, crab cakes, barbecue shrimp. I'm getting ready to start doing shrimp etouffee. I'm getting ready to do po' boys, gumbo, stuff like that. We do, matter of fact, we even do hurricanes. We even do hurricanes, I even do hurricanes. So I got some pretty cool classes. So if anybody sees this, and you want to cook with me, man, chef in a dish. You know, go to chef in a dish. And then not even if you just pick me. We got chefs from all over the world, and we add on more and more and more. You know, like I said, if you want to learn some true authentic Creole Cajun food, you know, click on my, click on me. I think my face is up there. Click on me. You know, they'll set everything up and do a kitchen prep session with you and stuff like that. And we come on in and we have a good time. What, uh, what do you like to cook for yourself? Um. Okay, we're going to get this. What I like to cook for myself? 
Um, I'm a steak guy. I love steak. I love steak. I love a ribeye steak. I love a ribeye steak. Shrimp almost done, so I'm going to start toasting off the uh, flour tortilla. We're going to do three. Ah, I want one with daughter. Okay, cool. We're going to do three. Just give it a little nice toast. I like, the, uh, I'm a barbecue shrimp guy with horseradish. I love gumbo. I love anything with strawberries. I love anything with strawberries. As far as dessert, I love strawberry cobbler. Oh, man, I love it. I love it. I love it. So definitely, I'm a steak guy. Steak, steak, steak. Ribeye, ribeye steak with a lot of fat, medium real, medium rare, horseradish sauce, and sweet potato fries on the side with strawberry cobbler. All right, look. We're almost there. We're almost there. Hold on. Oh yeah. Let's give it about another two minutes. Two minutes. I got this cool little thing right here. That's gonna go to tacos. The tacos. The tacos. And that something on that slaw has been, it's been sitting for a minute. I'm gonna let uh, I'm gonna let my daughter try and tell me what she thinks. See what we got. There. I wish y'all could see her, but she said her hair is not done, so but that's okay. What do you need? What do you need, baby girl? What do you need, baby girl? No, it's good. I don't need anything. Sweet enough, it's good. Got a little kick. Yeah. Ooh, look at how she support her daddy. Look how she support her daddy. All right, look. Got the shrimp going. You already pulled them out. Got me a little. Got me a little sheet pan with my um a napkin on it to absorb some of the um. Absorb some of the grease. So oh, you just want hey, you just want these warm. You want these just warm. Let me, let me. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, babe. Oh yeah, babe. Check this out. Shrimp coming out, nice and pretty. Shrimp, yes sir, yes sir. Check the shrimp. Check, check, check the scrimps. The scrimps. Check it out. I'm gonna put my little, a little bit of that seasoning on. Ah, this is a little soft pepper. And so now we're gonna adjust this up. Look at the shrimp. All right. Shells nice and warm. Put that in. You don't have to have one of these. I'm just trying to be a little fancy. I'm trying to, I'm trying to show off because I knew I was cooking for you guys. Check. Take your shrimp. Put on like so, like so, like so, like so, like so. Like so, like so. Put on there. Don't worry about them falling all over. Check this out. Put plenty in there. Get some of that. Get some of that Cajun slaw. Just put it on top like so. Oh, take that back. I take that back, people. Take that back. Check this out. Hey, it's mine, so I didn't mess up because I can do what I want. I got some Roma Lyle sauce that I had from a little gig, but you can put ketchup, you can put mayo or whatever. This was left over from a little gig I had, so I'm gonna put just a little drizzle on that shrimp. Just a little drizzle on that shrimp. Like that. But you can put ketchup or some, you know, get some mayo, some ketchup, some hot sauce, mix that together with some cap capers. Get your nice Roma Lyle sauce. Put some more slaw on, like so. Oh, check this out. Check this out. I don't wanna do wrong. Um. Look at that right there for me. I'm posting. I want everybody to go to the YouTube station. You put on the comments down here, Tyler. Mm -hmm. Oh. Someone asked, is it spicy? You can make it spicy. It's not too spicy. It's up to you. It's up to you. This one's not too spicy. I mean, it depends on what everybody, everybody has a different level of spice. See the slow like so. All right, check this out. I like adding a little cilantro. I like adding a little cilantro. I'm sorry, but forgive me, people trying to read something. You got that, baby girl? Yes. All right. You can add a little something to the comments. Add a little cilantro. Like so. I like cilantro. Like I said, I, have, I do have some in the, um, 
in a slaw mixture, but I just want to add a little more. Like so. Cool. And now what you can even do is, it all depends on up to you on how you want to do You can add some more Cajun. I like, just for me, I just like a little bit of more. I like put just to, just a compliment, just to say hello. Hello. Cool, cool. All right, people, and there you go. There you go, people, some Cajun slaw. I mean, uh, fried shrimp tacos. My daughter gonna show you, she's gonna push, she's adding something to the comments. But look, check it out. Fire, fire, we gonna eat that up. But hey, people, I wanna thank you guys so much for coming in, hanging out with me, man. You know I mean? This really means a lot. My name is Chef Gayson from New Orleans, man. You can catch me. You know, I got a pretty cool Instagram, I think. That's Chef underscore Gayson. Give me a follow. Check it out. See what I got What I got going on. Go, go to my website, you know, www.chefgayson. You ever come to New Orleans, book me. Hit me up so we can play some tennis. I would, hey, I would love to play some tennis. I would love to play some tennis with you. Maybe after tennis, I can cook for you, something like that. That would be so cool. And um, or you can check, you can get me at the chef in the dish. You know, I come to your kitchen, I can cook with you, man. You know, does anybody have any more questions before we sign out, man? Because you guys, this was cool, this was fun, this was relaxing. It took my mind off of what I got going on. I really, really needed this. Thank you for this time. Does anybody have any more questions? They said, they said, looks yummy. Thanks, chef. Enjoyed it. Thanks, chef. Great job. You did wonderful. Yummy. Thank you. They, these look great. Thank you so much for all the kind words. I want to thank my daughter for helping me out. Once again, this is Chef Gayson from the Chef of the Dish, full of flavor. Thank you, Tennis Channel, man. I mean, Tennis Channel, Lord. Thank you, Taste of Tennis, for uh, letting me do this with you guys, man. This was so much fun. And um, I'll tell you what, man. I'm getting ready to go eat these tacos, and I'm going to have to grab me a workout before I go hit one of my clients. Y'all be cool. I'm out. Chef Gayson.